Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on Slime Lens, I've got with me here Melody Moore. Hi. Melody makes incredible cookies, and we're going to use their cookie making process to just show you how to do really camera moves with a gimbal. And it's just so interesting. Not just a gimbal, but a gimbal with an iPhone. This is the new Zhuan Smooth Q2 gimbal. It's a great little gimbal. It's pocket size, it's very light. It gives you 16 hours of battery life, which means you can use this thing all day, which means literally it's gonna last like four times than your iPhone does. So an incredible battery power. It's made of an aluminum alloy, so it's very strong. I've actually dropped it once, which was not a good thing, but I did it and it's uh, working just fine. It also, it's a quick release clip here, so you can take this on and off very quickly. It also gives you the ability if you wanna go to vertical, if you want that kind of portrait versus landscape. So you have that option to change back and forth, which makes it very easy to switch if you want to do that uh, mid, mid shot or use it either way, ver vertical or horizontal. And using Bluetooth, it connects my phone to the gimbal so I can hit record and kind of run my phone from the gimbal, which makes it very easy in my hand, record, stop, and I can use it to make my moves. So let's take a look at some of the motion options you have with the gimbal. So I'm gonna let Melody do it here. So the first one, if you click on that, the uh, PF, it's going to pan, yep, but it's not gonna tilt. So as you go down, just going to okay, stop, okay? Then the second mode, you click that, is locked. It's not going to pan or tilt. Just locks both of those. Then the third one, it's going to pan and tilt. It's just going to follow you. It's going to pan and tilt as you go up and down. It's going to follow. Then the last one gives you complete movement. You can pan, tilt, and roll with it. So pan, tilt, and roll. If you push that button one more time, you can push it one more time, and now you aim that right at the camera, just hit the joystick to the side, it's going to give you a vortex move. It's going to just roll, as long as you keep that joystick pushed to the side, it's going to keep rolling, so you got a vortex. So there's a look at the modes on the Q2. Very few buttons you have on the back. One button is a joystick to be able to go between the different modes. You've got a record button, and you've got an on and off button. It's just very simple to use. So let's get now to some camera moves and see how they look as Melody is making cookies. So for this first shot, I'm just going to do a little push in. And on this push in, I'm going to really put it on the mode where I can it will flow with me, either tilt or pan. I'm going to have complete control of that. I'm just going to push in as she sets the flower out, and that'll become the beginning of our uh, little video here. On this next shot, I'm going to do a slider, just a dolly shot. I'm just going to come across the table here. I'm going to lock this off so that I'm not having to fight it as far as movement goes. And I'm just going to come right across the ground here, and I'm just going to come across here as she sets the ingredients down that we're going to use. I'm going to do this one more time as a flyover, just as she puts the things underneath the camera to see what that looks like. It seems interesting to me. We're now going to do a parallax move. And what that is, is I'm going to let the camera just kind of move around the bowl and keeping the bowl centered. That's what the parallax is. But I'm going to make a move around the bowl for each ingredient. So we'll make a move for the eggs. Then we'll go back and make a move for the butter. Then we'll make a move for the sugar. And then we'll cut those all together so as the camera moves around the bowl, it'll go butter, egg, sugar. And as it goes around the bowl, each ingredient drops in. As you cut those five or six shots together as one parallax move, and all the ingredients are in and cut to cut to mixing. I'm now going to do a vortex shot from overhead. It's going to spin as she mixes the opposite way and it's just going to be an interesting look. So here we go. I'm going to do a little kind of gradual pull out shot as she starts to mix here because we just went from this vortex mixing to flour dropping in to another vortex mixing a little much. So I'm going to do a little gradual pull out then we go back to a vortex mixing. It's all going to be crazy. No doubt about it. So I'm now going to do a little push in shot as she rolls the rolling pin. I'm going to try to push in as she rolls the rolling pin towards me. So just be this nice little movement of opposing action, pushing together, and just get that quick shot. I just did a quick flyover as she's rolling the dough out. It's just fun because I love this thing. We've got it going on a lot of these shots where I'm opposing the action. As she's rolling towards me, I'm pushing across the rolling pin. So you just see the pin coming, rolling underneath the camera as I push across it. So that flyover is just fun. Just get overhead. And looking straight down exactly what she's doing. It's just an interesting way, interesting way to introduce the action to see it kind of unfold. So in this shot, I'm going to start in a, out here, and as I come across, I'm going to pan, and I'm going to pivot. So it's a combination of a pan and then a slide to be able to open up to be able to see more area. So it's a nice little shot. I did a flyover of the cookie sheet. Just an interesting way to introduce the next step that she's putting cookies on the sheet that are about to go in the oven. But I be able, as I'm moving across it, it just looks very interesting as she drops things on. It adds motion and interest to the shot as she places the cookies on the sheet. So we're finishing up the piece now. I'm going to do a variety of shots. I'm going to be in tight. I'm going to be back in a more of a broad shot. Just a bunch so we can go cut, cut, cut. We get them all iced. Here's a plate of cookies. We're done. For this last shot, I'm just going to push in 
a final, uh, here's her with the cookies, final shot, let us sit there for a couple of seconds, and that'll be the end of our video. So it's nighttime, as you can see, we've been shooting for a long time to get through our shots, but cookies are made, shots are done, we're gonna cut this into a nice little piece, let's take a look at it right now. You know, it was really simple to use, and that, that's the thing that I, I just, switching between the different modes was very easy to set up, it's easy to go into overhead, and I mean, just very simple to use. And so I enjoyed it in that way. And small, I, you know, would absolutely carry this. If you're traveling or something, it's a great device to carry with you when you're gonna go on location or a vacation, whatever that may be. So excellent device to use in that way. So, it's a winner. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking.